welcome back to this YouTube channel thing. Um, uh, you tuned in because you wanted to learn more about Maju Shape, which is my fancy way of describing all of the controls um, that make up that control of your vibrato wave shape. And um, I really think this gives unprecedented control over, over this analog circuit. Um, right now I have a really symmetrical sine wave dialed in. Um, you can hear that. It's the same amount of time at the beginning of the wave and at the end. Um, if I change this to triangle on both sides, you'll get a very subtle difference. Especially when you speed it up, you can hear it. It's kind of like that, just that straight ping pong kind of a thing. Um, and what's really cool about this is that you can change um, either the the front side or the back side shape. So let's say we want to do a square wave on the back end. Uh, let me just move the warp a little bit to the right. We got we got that triangle at the beginning and it's cutting off with that square wave action at the end. So you can all, I'll do all sorts of rhythmic things like that. And just to give you a better idea of the warp knob, you know, so right now that square wave's at the end of the wave. If you dial that to the left, now it's more in the middle, and it's gonna be very abrupt at the left in this setting. And uh, you can just do all sorts of weirdness with this. If you go sine wave here and this is sine wave and triangle, so you get that kind of smooth sine wave um, at the end and then that triangle action at the beginning. Turn the depth all the way up. That's a little too weird for me, but some of you kids might be into it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much Maju Shape. So um, thanks for listening and um, watch another video because we're going to get into more stuff.